Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, Kitty and me here, Trey, with another unboxing for Operation Christmas Child. Uh, this was a little bit of a struggle to get in the box. Obviously, the lid does not stay down. Um, but that might be because there's a book in the back. It is quite full. I thought about putting it in one of my plastic containers, but I really, I don't know. I don't kind of don't want to, but I might have to. I know with the rubber band on it, once I get the, the big rubber band on it, it will be all right, but I know it's quite full. Um, <laughs> so this is for a boy five to nine and it is dinosaur themed. Um, and also green and yellow are the colors. So um, comment below and let me know if I should put it in a tad bit bigger box or if you think once the rubber band's on it, it should be okay. Um, we actually don't have processing centers. Um, the only processing center I believe in Canada is in BC. So I don't think all of them go there. Um, I think they just get directly shipped off to be put on ships and planes and all that stuff. Um, so I don't know. I think it, it would be okay uh, with the elastic, but I can always put it in another box. See, once the elastic's on it. It is a little bulky, but okay. Anyways, let me know what you think. So when he opens it up, his washcloth is on top and he's got a book here. Um, it's kind of Triceratops themed. Uh, they're dinosaur themed, but I kind of actually have a few items that have Triceratops. So I went with a cute little Triceratops dinosaur for his little inside lid. I thought it was really cute. So, um, his book is actually about Triceratops. Um, cute little book. It's got lots of, it does have words, but more than a toddler books, but it's got good pictures, I think. And it's all about Triceratops. So that was one of the reasons I went with Triceratops. So he's got that little cute little book. He's got a yellow washcloth. His stuffy is a Triceratops and he's he lays down on his belly. He's a cute little stuffy. He's kind of like a shiny looking scales on him. I thought he was super cute. So that's his stuffy. He's got these. I actually had a bigger, just one big dinosaur in here, but it would definitely would not fit. So um, I stuck these two in here. Um, I forget what this one's called. He's got the really hard head. I think he starts with an S, and of course a Stegosaurus. So he's got two little dinosaurs to play with. He's got a pair of black sunglasses. He's got, ooh, he's got a green foldable frisbee. In his cup, which is like a neonish green, He's got a pair of green socks and he has one of these green tops. His pencil sharpeners in here, which is green. Uh, he's got an eraser and two other, 
to dinosaur erasers. Which, he could use them as an eraser if he knows they're erasers, or he can use them just for toys to play with. So that was in his cup. He also has this little wooden craft um, thing that actually has a, I cut out the cardboard that shows what it looks like. Um, just coloring, coloring wooden thing. He can hang it up. Oh, it's got a stegosaurus and a triceratops and two little stars with, or sorry, three stars with rope and it's got three markers included. Just a cute little thing to hang up and I thought it went well with the theme. That was kind of a, one of the things I was struggling to get with everything else in here. Um, he has a kazoo that says Jesus loves me and I put to um, kind of like simple instructions because you think of these as like a whistle but they're actually not a whistle you have to hum into them instead of blowing uh, so I just put to use this end and to hum he has a green bandana he has a pair of underwear which I believe are size 8 he has a bright neon bag filled with his some hygienic items he's got a bar of soap uh, with in a ziploc bag um, he has a green nail file and nail clippers with the instructions on how to use nail clippers and file uh, courtesy of blessings in a shoebox.com that is a free printable that you can use as long as if you use it and show it uh, give them give them props for it or courtesy or whatever <laughs> uh, he has a green spoon which is actually oops was a free spoon out of a cereal box out of Lucky Charms and it actually changes color as well with heat cold and hot so my hands aren't very warm right now um, when it goes warm I forget what color it changes. I am definitely not warm today. I think it just gets a lighter green. I, I don't even remember. It does look lighter though. Uh, so he has a spoon. He has a yellow comb. He has two green toothbrushes in here. One is a smaller version and one is a normal size uh, one has a cap on it these were one of the things that were difficult to fit uh, the sandals with everything else and I believe they're a size 2 3 which according to some family members I talked to uh, my cousin has a nine-year-old and she is in a size 3-4 so 2-3 hopefully um, they'll fit whoever they go to um, they're green with dinosaur bones on them his pencil case is green and he has some scissors He has four yellow pencils and three, I really don't have a set number because I know the last box I just did, the teddy bear one had eight pencils and this one has seven. Uh, I kind of just grab 
them, I guess. Um, a bright neon -y, neon greenish yellow one and two Christmas ones that are also green. And he has a green pen, a red pen. And I also put in um, four little fine tip markers for him to use. This was um, something I picked up, actually I had it, and I thought about it last minute. I thought it would be a really cool thing to include. Um, and I think I'm gonna add batteries, extra batteries for it as well. This appears to be a flashlight, which in all actuality it is. Um, it does take the little button batteries. Um, so it can be used as a flashlight but it also has these little slides that when you pull this part down and stick them in, uh, let me see where I can show you what it does. Maybe on the bottom, of, no, the front of the box. Let me back up here, and there's a little adjustment that you can adjust it so it's not blurry. Um, it's really hard to see them. Let me show you on the wall. Okay, so ignore my um, ugly yellow wall, but when you zoom it out big enough and adjust the focus on it, it will show pictures of dinosaurs and you move the wheel and it will show different ones and it comes with I believe three three slides and the more you move back the bigger it come, becomes oops it's really hard while holding a phone <laughs> and if you move the um, the tip of the flashlight, that's what focuses it. So if you move it like this, it's way out of focus. But that's his light. Okay, so that's his little flashlight slash slideshow. So this part you turn and it focuses and then your wheel moves as you my kitten's going crazy because she wants to play with the light so it comes with three different ones and from the packaging I put this in with it just so they can understand so you slide the wheel in there, pull this out, put that in, how to change the batteries, and so this is the head lens that focuses. So I have every bit of confidence that um, there's someone in the area that can understand English or know it. And they can always ask the volunteers that are there. And I mean, once they know how to do it, they can do it. So I thought that was a really cute little thing to include with this box. Um, they're actually at our local dollar store in Canada. <laughs> not Dollar Tree, not Dollar General. We have dollar stores, they're called. Actually, they're called Dollarama, sorry. Um, and they also have ocean themed and unicorn themed. So, and I did get some of those ones. So they will be going in future boxes. So moving on, I also made his bag, which is green. It's like a darkish green with dinosaurs on it. And he also has uh, handles. So that's his bag. 
it actually looks really big in the picture, but um, I'm not sure how big it is. I can measure it if you wish. <laughs> I just kind of size it by eye. Uh, he has 12 crayons. And his uh, homemade coloring book, which has his triceratops that is in his inside of his lid. So this is just different. There's a bigger one of him. Different dinosaurs. That are easy to color for five to nine, in my opinion anyway. And on the very back he has a little boy that says, Jesus loves me. So that's his coloring book. Uh, his notebook, he has one of these smaller ruled notebooks that is green. Inside he's got two sheets of dinosaur stickers. I think these ones are kind of neat since they have a little pocket page on the front. They can stick little things in them. He has his envelope with um, our letter inside. He has a beach ball that has a um, happy face that's got <laughs> shades on. And he's got this smaller plain colored, plain colored, plain paper. I'm so tongue tied today. Uh, notebook with smile, Jesus loves you. And on the very bottom, he's got this sheet of dinosaur stickers. So that concludes this box for boy five to nine. Uh, dinosaur slash yellow slash green theme. <laughs> so um, until next video, take care, God bless, and happy boxing. <laughs>